welcome to another 5M video. Uh, as you guys know, I'm not a dev. However, I have been self-teaching myself or self-taught in general coding. Uh, so today we're going to replace these very bad default admin menus with our new one, our PS admin. So if you see here, we have these really basic menus here. There's a TX admin, which is if you're following along, uh, you can see different things here through the TX admin menu. We also have the default Kiwi core in it's very weird to navigate and do things through here. So we're going to add a better one. It's called PS Admin. The links will be in the description below. So let's get started. So as always, once you're in your VPS, if you're following along with the rest of the series, first thing we're going to do is shut down the server. And use the links below to open up uh, the PS admin menu. And we're going to grab the code for that. You, oh, you want to grab the latest version, which if you see here, one, 116, 116, so they are the same. So we're just going to grab the zip here. And also, you're going to need Oxlib. This one doesn't show. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, here's the version 3.23.1. 3.23.1. So we are also going to grab this code. Once you download them, oop. we're going to go to our server files, our TX data, into our database, into resources. So this is where it's going to get a little confusing. So later on, we are going to do a lot more. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more PS stuff, Project Sloth. They have, great, they have great mods. They have great scripts. So we will be using a lot of them. So as you can see here, where it says uh, QB, default maps, voice, different stuff like that. This is a file directory. So once you open up these directories, there's more files inside here. And so on our server file, which is here, in the brackets here, it's picking up QB, standalone voice. It's picking up the whole directory. So what we are going to do, we're going to create one of those directories. So in our resources folder, we're going to make a new folder. And we're going to call it bracket um, PS bracket. This is our project sloth stuff. We're going to open this up. We're going to take our PS admin menu, We're going to extract it, or open it in WinRAR, whichever you prefer. Open this, and then we're going to drag the second one into our PS folder. We're going to change the name, take out main. And then if you go back to your resources, to the main one, you'll go into QB, and you'll go to QB small resources. And you'll go to server and to logs. And down here at the bottom, we'll do bracket, comma, do PS admin menu equals, then in brackets. We will add a webhook so that way you can see what you're doing or see what all your staff are doing. So here in my Discord, I already have uh, five M logs. I already have this in here, so let's find admin. Now let's do it from scratch. So what we're, we're going to just delete this one. We're going to take another one. Well, either, you can either duplicate it or duplicate the channel you already have or just make another channel. Uh, we'll call it PS Admin. Space. Yeah. 
admin. Create the channel. Go here to the edit channel. Integrations. Create a webhook. We'll just call this PS admin. You will copy the webhook. Make sure you save it. Then back in here, you will paste it. And back to your downloads. We're going to do the same with Oxlib. However, Oxlib needs to be on its own. It cannot be in a file. It needs to load first. We're going to grab this one, and we're going to put this one out here on its own. We're going to take out master. So now, in our CFG file, we're going to come here to our QB core stuff. Now, let's... Yeah, this is fine. So we're actually going to put this at the beginning. So we're going to ensure Oxlib. It needs to be first. Yep. And then... So here, we're going to insert. Doesn't matter. You can put it at the bottom if you want. It doesn't really matter. We'll put it at the bottom just for video's sake. And then we'll do bracket, oops, bracket, ps, bracket. We'll hit file save. We're done with the server CFG file. And we're done with Oxlib. We don't need it anymore because all you need is just to bring it in here. Now we're going to open up our PS file, open our admin menu, and I think that's it, actually. Go into the config file. We need to change this fuel here, actually, to our fuel. So we open up our resources. Go to standalone. We are currently using legacy fuel. We will be changing this later on, but for now, it's legacy fuel. Uh, we're not using renewed phone. These are some of the admin keys. Uh, these are the perms that allow you to do things. So you can resource perms where it allows you to stop the resources. I'm going to set mine to God because they shouldn't be able to do those. Admins can do regular perm or regular permissions. Uh, so admin car. Okay, so mod can do admin car. They can ban a player. Uh, we're going to choose the admin. And then mods can kick. You just want to scroll through and go through each one. Mods can bring players. Change this to admin. Mods are gonna have like the bare minimum. So you won't see you won't see mods having very many perms. Change flight mods can do that. Clear inventory mods can do that. I don't care. Uh, clear offline. That's fine. That's fine. Set paid. That's fine. Copy cord, all this is fine. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, invisible, blackout, duty, toggle. I okay. All this looks fine. I'm just kind of scrolling through quickly, uh, reading what the action is and then what the perms are. So here's the action, mute player, and then the perm. The perm is who could do it. Mod is the lowest rank, and then admin, and then god is the highest rank. There should only be one god. That's either, that's you, or your bestest friend. They can really do some damage with those perms. Um, revive all my my player. Eh, it all looks the same. Do it's eh, it's close enough. I don't want to scroll through all this. We're going to hit file save. If you made any changes, which we did, we did the, uh, uh, what do we call it? The fuel. So now for the final thing, go back into your resources, go to QB, and then this QB admin, we are going to delete it. We no longer need it. Once again, go back to your server, start it up. 
And I will see you on the inside. All right, now that we are here, back in the server. So I believe it is page down. There we go. So this is our new admin menu. It's got a lot more details. We still have our TX. Because we have a TX server. Uh, I think admin will do it. Yes, admin will also open it. So you have all your admin stuff. Depending on what rank you are, you can do different things. Here's our staff chat. You can chat with other staff members. You can see the players are in the server, and here you got all their licenses, what their jobs are, their phone numbers, their money, uh, what vehicles they have. You can kick them, ban them, teleport to them, bring them to you, revive them, spectate them, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, in the server here, you have all your server files, so you can start, stop, whatever you need to do. These are the commands that you have, so we need to see how much cash you have, or... If you need to cuff somebody. And these are just the actions. Which is what this is. Just making it bigger and smaller. And then with the little star here, you can actually favorite these. So, I have a few favorites that I have. Which are... Um, give item. Give money. Uh, revive player. And spawn vehicle. So if you click here on your favorites, you can see these are all your favorites. So if you want to give an item, like say, um, we'll give ourselves some water. Uh, you can either look through your items like this, which is a pain. Type it out. Bottle of water and the amount. Let's give us uh, four of them. There you go. So we have four bottles of water. Next thing we're doing, we are changing this inventory because this looks like poo poo. But now we have four bottles of water. Uh, if you look here, this top bar here is our hotkeys. So one is phone, two is your, what is this, driver's license, three is your ID card, four is water, and then five is blank. The rest is just inventory. So if we hit four, we're drinking some water. Yum, yum. That's how you change that. If you have any questions or anything, be sure to leave them down below. Make sure you like to like and subscribe to the video. And if you didn't like it, subscribe anyway. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. I will see you guys in the next video.